and of course we are looking for the z value Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to create this medieval maze using geometry nodes and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave that like and if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the fastest way be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills all the way to full textured environments so we got it all there local illustration, hard surface modeling, character creation, sculpting, you name it, it's all there waiting for you, so if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and first of all, let's select the light and the cube, so drag a selection, press X and choose delete. And I will choose a quad sphere for this, so let's go edit, preferences, add-ons and search for extra and check extra objects, add mesh add-on, just check the box, close the preferences. And now if you press shift a you will see mesh and round cube option right here now we'll need to go here and change the preset to quad sphere and basically this is the sphere which has all quads all around so no uv sphere and now we'll only reduce the subdivisions to something lower and it basically depends on how many spikes you want this maze to have so i will go something small like three for example i think that'll be enough and now I will go ahead and switch the workspace to geometry nodes. Let's zoom in a little bit using mouse wheel. And now this is our basic object. There is no geometry node set up there. So let's just click new and you will see it will be added to the modifier stack. And now let's rename this to mace. And the next thing we'll need to do is to create a spike that we'll use um, for this object. So let's press shift A and we'll add a circle. Now let's modify the number of vertices to something lower like 12. And now press G, then Y and move it to the side. Now tap into the edit mode and press S to scale it down. Press E, then Z and extrude it up like this. Now let's zoom in a little bit more. Press S to scale it down like this. And press F to fill. Um, I won't join these together uh, because I want this to be rounded because it will be like very stylized and subdivided. And now let's press Ctrl R and create one more loop right here near the top like this and let's step out now and let's call this spike in the outliner and let's call this mace head for example and now with the mace selected again we can see the geometry node setup so let's just select and grab the spike right here in the node setup and they'll give us the object information for the object and we have access to his geometry and now let's press shift a and we'll search for point and we're looking for mesh to points like this and just plug it right here and we want to instance the spike on faces so let's switch this from vertices to faces and let's just plug this geometry right here let's move this back a little bit and now if you want to preview um, what points are created um, you can use node wrangler so again you will need to go to the preferences add-ons and search for node and just check the box here activate node wrangler close the preferences and now if you hold ctrl and shift you can click this and you will see the viewer node is added here and you can see all the points that are created on those faces so let's press x and delete this and now we'll need to instantiate um, the spike on those points so let's press shift a and let's go instance and we'll choose instance on points and we'll plug the points right here and as the instance we'll use the geometry from our object information right here uh, but there's nothing to see here because those instances aren't plugged anywhere so if you for example drag it here and plug it to the geometry output you will see them but now the sphere is gone so to actually see both of those we'll use join geometry so let's press shift a let's type join and let's choose join geometry node and plug it right here and now we'll drive this here and basically we now have all the objects in place and you can optionally just select and drag on xyz scale here hold shift for smaller increments and rescale those spikes however you want but of course we'll need to rotate them so they align to the normals of those faces which are those like little vector lines 
um, I will show you right here in the edit mode. If you go here and activate the normals, you will see those are the vectors that we use um, to point those spikes outside. So let's just disable this. Okay, and first of all, we'll need to read those normal information. So let's press Shift A, let's type normal. And you can see it's geometry read normal, but we'll need to capture this as attribute. So let's press Shift A, type in capture. And now we are interested in the vector because those um, normals are vector type of data. And we are interested in the face domain because these are the face normals, the face information. And just plug the normal right here. And of course, we'll use this geometry and we can plug it right here. So it's a little bit cleaner there. And now we have this normal attribute um, as a vector information right here available. But we cannot use the vector data to adjust rotation right here because you can see you can adjust the rotation for the spikes. Um, but they will all point the same way. So we'll press Shift A and let's type in Euler, E U L, and we'll align Euler to vector. And now we are basically just plugging in the vector information right here, and we are outputting the rotation. And of course, we are looking for the Z value. And now you have these spikes looking, peeking out from those faces. And basically that's it for the node setup. Uh, but to make things a little bit better, let's move this away a little bit. Let's press Shift A and let's add subdivision. Subdivision surface right here. And we can go for two levels of subdivision. And then we can add some smooth. So let's type in smooth, set shade smooth. And here you can toggle the smooth shade option. And of course, uh, we'll add some material to this, but there's no material present yet. Uh, actually, there is from the previous default cube, so we can use that one. So let's press Shift A, type in material, and we'll set material right here and choose the material so basically this is the whole node setup um, for those spikes um, really simple solution and it will take a long time to kind of duplicate these and align them or use like different array setups and stuff like that so this is where the geometry nodes um, really shine and now we can go back to the layout view let's step out and to clean it up a little bit let's select this press m to move to a new collection Let's call this assets and we'll just deactivate this. So we're using only the data there. Now let's select the maze head again. We have the cursor right here, so we can press shift A and we can create a handle. So let's add circle and 12 is still okay. So let's look from the front by pressing one on a numpad. Let's toggle the X-ray, tap into the edit mode and press R then X and enter 90 rotate 90 degrees and we can press s to scale it down like this and we'll cover one of these spikes but it doesn't really matter let's look from the side by pressing 3 on an ampet and press e then y and extrude it outside like this and additionally we can press s to scale it up like this and now press f to fill and Control b to create a bevel and increase number of cuts with the mouse wheel to something like this and now let's press 3 for face select, alt click this loop right here and we'll press shift D to duplicate this and P and separate selection that will create a new object right here so we can tap out, select that new object, tap into the edit mode and now press 1 for vertex select, select these vertices and press G twice to slide them up like this, and now select these, press G twice again and slide them. Now we can select the whole thing by pressing A and Alt E and extrude faces along normals and extrude it out like that. And now we can press Ctrl I to invert the selection, press X and delete faces. So there's nothing inside. And now let's press Ctrl R and let's add support loop right here and on the other side as well. Now if you tab out and disable X-ray view, 
you can press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface modifier. You can see it right here. Or you can use add modifier, generate subdivision surface. I used Ctrl 1 and Ctrl 2 shortcuts. And now select the handle, Ctrl 2, to add the same modifier there. Right click, shade smooth, select this one as well and shade smooth. And optionally, if you don't want to like uh, parent them and move them separately, you can hold shift, select the handle and press Ctrl J and it will join this object into the handle. But there's a little bit of a gap here. So let me just alt click this loop right here. Hold alt shift, select the other one and we can press S then shift Y to scale it on X and Z axis. So it goes inside a little bit and now we'll parent the whole thing here. So hold shift, select the maze head, press control P and parent object. And now you have this nice stylized medieval weapon made mostly using geometry nodes. And if you see some of these gaps right here, you can very easily edit that. You just select the spike, go into the edit mode, alt click the bottom loop, press G twice to slide it up and now hold alt and it will allow you to extend that slide here. So basically it will go inside your geometry right here. Okay, let me disable it. And yeah, that's it. That's your simple geometry node setup. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please leave that like. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.